Welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany Nicole with two E's and I am new to the YouTube world. Um, I had my first video, it was my intro, but this will be my technically my first video. Um, and as you can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about when I had my tummy tuck and my tummy tuck was covered by my insurance. I have Medicaid and Metro Plus and I want to take you on my journey of how that took place and what I had to do and how my insurance covered that surgery. So let's go back maybe 10 plus years. Um, I had gastric bypass surgery. I was 280 pounds. I had tried every single diet possible and I just couldn't lose the weight. Like I would go to the gym, I would try different diets and I couldn't lose the weight. So I decided that I was gonna get gastric bypass and I lost 100 pounds. My lowest weight was 175, but my weight goes up and down. So back in 2017, I wanted to get a tummy tuck because I have three kids and I don't want to have any more children. And my stomach, you know, because I lost all the weight, it was like extra skin. So I was looking into doctors in Miami to see like different quotes and how much would it would be but i had i had not have i was i didn't haven't been back to my doctor the bariatric clinic where i got my gastric bypass in a long time and i knew that like my iron and stuff was low so i was like let me go back to my the bariatric clinic so i overhear these ladies talking about oh yeah i'm going to plastic surgery clinic and they i'm getting my tummy tuck and the other one saying that she's getting a breast a breast a breast lift and it's gonna be covered by the insurance so i'm like what so now when i go over to the back to speak to my doctor you know because i want to get like check up on my labs and my blood work and stuff like that i'm like am i able to get a tummy tuck and will it be covered by my insurance he was like well everybody's situation is different but i'm going to give you the referral to go to the plastic surgery clinic and you can go from there so now i book my appointment i go to the plastic surgery clinic girl Everybody in the clinic done had almost everything done. Like it was women in there with tummy tucks, breast breast lifts, arm surgery, thigh lifts, body lifts, and they all like get yeah, it got it done, and it was free of charge with the insurance. So now I feel like I'm late. The lady was people were asking me like, well, how long ago did you have your surgery? I'm like, well, I had my gastric bypass um, in 2009, so it's like almost 10 years. So they're like, well, what did you wait for? I'm like, girl, I did not know. I was trying to save up my money and pay for it out of my own pocket to get my tummy tuck. So people was like, yeah, with the insurance, you get every procedure you can get, it's every three months we get something done. Get something done every three months. So I'm like, okay, I'm like, this probably gonna be like a long process um, to get this started. So now I go to the doctor, I see Dr. Ryan, he's so amazing, like, such an amazing surgeon so respectful so patient everything so i go and i'm like yeah you know i have like the ss excess skin on my stomach and you know i have my three children my last son he's seven so i'm like i want to get this removed like what's the process so they're like yeah this is your um first appointment and then the next time you come um you'll get your surgery date surgery date what i'm like i'm like no this 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 is not real because a tummy tuck is like 5500 in new york a tummy tuck can go from like ten thousand to like twenty thousand. so i'm like the next appointment i'm gonna get my surgery date what this can't be serious so um time goes i come on but i'm like ma they said that i can get my surgery i get the tummy tuck and it's gonna be free of charge once my insurance is cleared so now I was a little scared, like, oh, I hope my insurance um, is going clear because, you know, everybody has different insurance. Like, some people have Medicaid with Fidelis, Medicaid with um, First Plus. I had Medicaid with Metro Plus. So then I made it to my next appointment, and they was like, well, you're ready. This was in September of 2019. And they was like, yeah, your surgery day is going to be um, October 11th. And I'm like, you serious? 
So now I'm scared because I'm like, okay, I have my surgery day. I had to go get my EKG done. I had to do blood work to make sure that my to make sure my iron was a certain level, and I had to make sure that my insurance had cleared. So um, I did everything, and then I had called to see if my insurance had cleared for my surgery because you know I didn't want to be all excited and be like, oh, I'm getting my surgery, and then they like, oh, we're not paying for it. So then I called my insurance, and the lady was basically telling me that the way that it works is that it's like a monthly, monthly basis so like yes they said they, they will approve my surgery but they had to make sure that my insurance would still be active on October 1st and once that it was active on October 1st then it would be a clear thing that is a goal for my surgery so now I'm just like so nervous like oh I gotta wait I gotta wait until October 1st to see if my insurance is still gonna be cleared blah, blah, blah. so now October 1st comes so I wait till October 2nd and I put a lady back I'm like is my insurance um, did my insurance clear my surgery for October 11th? My surgery is in 10 more days. I just want to know. So she's like, Miss Davis, yes, you're cleared. You're good to go. Honey. I was so shocked. I'm like, God is so good. <laughs> like, baby, this surgery costs so much money. And I'm like, my insurance covered this. I didn't even know about this 10 years ago. Girl. So um, on October 11th, I went so excited i'm gonna put some um clips in and you'll see the day of that i went in and um had my surgery october 11 2019 and when i got my surgery they told me that i was gonna have the surgery and i'll be able to go home that same day when i woke so i got prepped that when i went to the hospital around like six o'clock in the morning my surgery probably didn't i didn't go into the operating room probably like nine o'clock you know they gave me the IV. i spoke to the anesthesiologist and everything else so i probably didn't go back to like 9 9 30 to the operating room they hooked me up and it was like miss davis count from 100 all i remember is 100 and i was knocked out i woke up and i was in so much pain like so much pain like i'm like i need medication please where's my medication i need my medication I feel I felt like everything was just ripping me, like ripping me. And I didn't I had surgery before, like when I was younger, I had surgeries. I'll talk about this on another video at story time. But I've been on the um anesthesia before and I've came out of it normal, but sometimes you know the side effects of anesthesia can be nausea. So I'm in pain, I'm nauseous and I'm throwing up at the same time, mind you, I just had the tummy tuck. So I'm trying to like hold my stomach, whatever is there, and I'm like throwing up. So now they're like, oh, we're going to give you a pill for nausea, and we're going to give you your medication, and you should be fine. So they gave me my pill for the nausea, and they gave me the medication for the pain, and then it kicked in, and then I was doing a little bit better. So I'm thinking that I'm going to go home. So they're like, you know, we really think that you should stay. And I'm like, no, you told me that I could go home. I want to go home and be in the comfort of my own babe i just want to go home they're like no i think you should really stay blah, blah, blah. so i'm like okay let me just call my mom and tell her that i'm staying and she doesn't have to come pick me up so i ended up staying the next day you no know, the same day they took me upstairs mind you i'm from new york so the hospital that i went to i'm sorry i didn't even say that was harlem hospital so they took me upstairs and i ended up staying and you know, when you take the pills, you be in and out of sleep. So I was basically sleeping a lot um, during like that when I went upstairs. But then my pain medication had ran out and I'm buzzing the button for the nurse to come to give me my medication. And then she's like, oh, I just gave you medication. I'm like, miss, that was like four to five hours ago. This medication has wore off. I need my pain meds. But she's giving me attitude. Mind you, I'm sitting here, I just had surgery. So I'm like, you know what? I need to speak to somebody. She ended up, she's like, oh, oh, I see that you didn't have, you did have the pill um, like five hours ago. So, you know, I'm like, clearly I just said that. So now I'm supposed to leave the next day because I only had to stay there for one day. So my mom comes, but I didn't get a chance to look like at my stomach because, you know, they give you like a, what is it called? Oh, I have it, hold on. 
so they give you like this bandage it's like a stretch thing and then it goes around your stomach Girl, I, I wear it so much i love it because it's like a size medium and it like squeezes me i even work out in it look how it's so messed up but they had that but i just feel my stomach so flat and i'm like i never felt this before in my life that my stomach is this flat i'm like thank you god and i did not have to pay for the surgery now back to that part the reason why my insurance paid for my surgery is because it's because i came from the bariatric clinic it's not like anybody could just come and say oh um i i want to get a tummy tuck that's not how it works so basically when you get gastric bypass that's a part of the package which i did not know i was much younger like i said i was 10 years this was 10 years ago i didn't know that that came with the package so with the package they know that when you lose weight and you used to be bigger you're going to have excess skin a lot of extra skin places and that's why it's covered some people get approved and some people don't because you know some people electricity is way better and then some people still want to get tummy tucks they probably have children and stuff like that but clearly mine got approved and i was able to get my tummy tuck now the tummy tuck process as i went home my mom came and she picked me up and i went home i was haunched over the whole time like bent over like an old lady because it felt like if I stood up, I couldn't stand up because it felt like everything was just like ripping. Because remember, they taking your stomach and they pulling it down and they stitching you up. And then I did the stomach, what is it called? When you get the tummy tuck in the inside, like they stitch your stomach up. So it's like they tighten all your muscles. So everything was just so tight. Like I couldn't even like move. Thank God I, had a, I have a recliner in my house. So I was able to sleep on a recliner recliner i was literally out of work for six to eight weeks and those six to eight weeks i was literally literally on the recliner because when you're in a recliner you, you're like sitting up it's like you're laying down but you're like sitting up so that was like the best thing ever that i had in my house like thank god i had that recliner i literally used to sleep lay back and let me say something my kids i have um three kids and my kids was so much help like i literally couldn't move i was just in that recliner that's it i would literally get up and mind you when you get the tummy tuck you have two drains on the side i have pictures i'm going to insert it and you'll be able to see you have two drains on the side for the first week for the first five days you have drains because they don't want you to get any like um backage like backed up they want everything to drain out all the liquid to drain out of you so I had the drains in for like, yeah, like five to six days. And then they ended up taking my drains out. Now I'm feeling like a little bit better because when you have the drains, it just like, it tugs, so they have it like stitched and it would tug and you're trying to use the bathroom. It was just a lot. So when I got the drains taken out, I was like, okay, I got my drains taken out. I felt like a brand new woman. I was still haunched over a little bit, but I was able to move around a little bit more. So then I had my band, my, I will wear a faha and then I will put my bandage thing that I showed you over it. Honey, this stomach was flat, flat. Okay, flat, flat. People ask me like, was it worth it, the pain? Yes. I would definitely do it all over again because it was the best thing ever. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you my stomach. I just had a, I just got a tattoo to cover up my scar. My scar wasn't that bad. Like, my panties literally covered my scar. But I feel like if I wear a two-piece, I don't want nobody to see nothing. I can't see nothing. But my stomach is a little bit swollen because I just got a tattoo. But at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what my stomach looks like. But people ask me, do I regret it? No, I don't regret it. Would I, get it, would I have done it again? Yes, I would. My stomach, like, no matter what, I would go to the gym. Like, after I have my bariatric um, surgery, I would go to the gym. And the muscle just would not and plus I had children I have three kids so my stomach was literally stretched out also from me having children so it was not gonna bounce back like it was not it just not gonna bounce back at all so this was like the best decision for me like I need to get this tummy tuck and I feel like I'm so glad that I went back to the clinic because I would literally pay out my pocket not knowing that the bariatric once you get bariatric surgery it's will be able to be covered with your insurance 
and this is not only with medicaid you can have a, a private insurance also like from your job um they should be able to cover it too because this is a part of your package if you have bariatric surgery now i'm not quite too sure if like i know there's a lot of women um that lose weight on their own kudos to y'all it was hard for me and i was much younger so i felt like oh i can't do this i've been trying a lot of different diets but i'm not too sure if they can cover that because you know you lost weight on your own and it's still like you know irritation and stuff like that i don't really know but you can check that out with your doctor to see or with your insurance to see what they cover but i'm gonna show you guys some videos i'm gonna show you guys some befores and afters i'm gonna insert the photos and you will see what my stomach looked like before and what it looked like after like after surgery i'm gonna show you now i'm gonna stand up oh and this two-piece outfit is from icon fashion boutique that's my boutique that i own it's on sale right now so you guys can click the um link down below and shop this item but as you can see i'm gonna show you see this is my stomach here my stomach has a little poof like i said i'm gonna show you so i just got a tattoo but as you can see where i had the tummy tuck so this is where they have the drain right here and then they have the other drain on this side but this is the scar was here so i don't know if these panties you would see because it's a little bit lower but all the rest of my panties they cover my panty line and you can't see it but i will show you a picture i will insert it so you can see what it looked like before i got my tattoo because i literally just got my tattoo two days ago but if i would have had this before my tummy tuck you would have seen a whole bunch of like bigness but yeah so yes thank you guys for watching my video on this and if you want to know any more you can um comment below subscribe to my channel um you can hit that bell so this is what you know that when i'm gonna be posting any new videos um i will be posting more surgery videos so subscribe and thank you guys i love you